Well, tonight, a Valley Health Group is accused of administering hundreds of vaccines that had already expired. Brianna Whitney is live tonight with all the details in that company's side of the story. Well, Embry Women's Health has been very active in Arizona in terms of COVID testing and giving out the COVID vaccine. But now the Arizona State Health Department has banned them from ordering more vaccines. After records show, they gave out nearly 400 expired doses. A bombshell letter sent from the Arizona State Health Department to Embry Women's Health claims the clinic made many missteps, including administering 370 doses of expired vaccine, allowing staff that aren't permitted to give the shots and failing to properly document storing, handling and administration of the vaccine. The letter required Embry Health to submit a plan in writing by June 1st for upcoming vaccine events. But as of Wednesday, June 9th, the health department said it's still waiting on documentation. So how dangerous is it if you did get an expired vaccine? It's probably not going to be a big risk because just to be on the safe side, they're making sure that the expiration dates are much sooner than they would ever expire. Dr. Andrew Carroll says even though the risk is low, expired vaccines should always be thrown out. Embry Health declined to do an interview on camera, but says they don't believe they actually gave any expired vaccines. A spokesperson says they're still conducting an audit to check the data, but they believe it was a discrepancy where data was put in a day or more after a vaccine dose was actually given. Basically, it comes down to an accounting issue, which their spokesperson says has since been corrected. Dr. Carroll says proper recording is very important. If I don't have that date in the state system, I cannot confirm that it's been 21 or 28 days since their last vaccine. So it's important that we put that data in. During this time, the health department says it'll have staff on hand to make sure Embry Health distributes the rest of its Johnson & Johnson vaccine supply properly. But there's no date on when the clinic will be allowed to order the Moderna vaccine again. Both Embry Women's Health and the state tell me they've been in constant communication with each other over this, and Embry says they are looking at modifying their operations. They also tell me they've provided responses to all the questions the health department has asked them, and they've even been able to trace all of those vaccines in question. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Fam. All right, Brianna, thank you.